What's your most shameful NSFW moment? Part 2. When I was around 10-11 years old, my dad got my brother and I a computer to use. He set it up in the den and pretty much allowed us free unsupervised access to it. He had gone out with his friends one night, and my brother, one of his friends, and myself were on the internet just typing in random things and adding com to it. Now back in the early 2000s it didn't take long for us to stumble upon porn, which led us to clicking on more and more porn links because we were all like, holy shit there's naked women on here. Eventually we break the computer and it blue screened on us. Instead of turning it off unplugging the computer turning off the monitor, we just left it and went to bed. My dad got home and saw the blue screen, did the old control, alt, delete trick to pull up the task manager, saw that we had porn pulled up on the web browser, at this point he makes us all come out into the den sits us on the couch and tries to make us confess to why the computer was blue screened. We of course shrugged and acted like we had no clue. He then turned the monitor on and went through the internet history. We all had to sit there while my dad clicked through some of the most heinous debased shit I've ever seen in my life. The whole time he was just reading out the history and then he'd say something like Jesus fucking Christ. What the hell is wrong with you all? Yeah that computer did not last very long. What's your most shameful NSFW moment? Part 3. When I was with my ex, we did some long distance for a while. While I am not about sending nudes, after not seeing each other for a long time you kinda get an urge to see the other person naked. So, nudes were exchanged. She was mostly interested in close-ups of my erect penis so I sent those. Upon returning home I discovered that she had set a picture of my erect penis as my profile picture in her phone, meaning that if I'd call her, my penis would be presented on the screen in all its glory. I told her this was a very stupid idea, what if I'd call and her phone was laying around somewhere. She said she never had her phone laying around so no one would see. I didn't think much of it. Few weeks later we were having dinner with her parents and she was talking about getting a new phone. Her father, with a straight face and in between two bites of his food, remarked gee, if you get this new phone, does that mean you'll install a different picture for when he calls you? I died a thousand deaths. What's your most shameful NSFW moment? Part 4. My HS girlfriend, many decades ago, giving me an enthusiastic blowjob, right at the very moment when I came her mother came home. It startled my GF to the point she accidentally inhaled my cum, and jumped up headbutting me in the nose, literally seconds after her mom burst into a room to see her daughter buck nude, on all fours, coughing out just like a cat with a hairball, and me, buck nude, with a rock hard erection and covered in blood, what's a secret you'll take to your grave but you'll share with reddit because you need to get it off your chest, I was in a friends with benefits kind of situation with a someone I didn't know super well a few months back, and she got off to the fact that a younger guy was into an older woman, I was 24 at the time and she was 40 and I mean, so was I, I love milfs and she was right up my alley, but one day she stops talking to me out of nowhere and I find out that it's because she went to jail. Previously, she had told me she used to have a minor drug problem which I was sympathetic towards because my mom did too so I knew she was meeting with lawyers or parole people or whoever. And I was surprised she had relapsed because she seemed to be doing so well. Nope, turns out she had raped her 14 year old son, and was just in my area awaiting trial or something. And she was so into our age difference because she was a pedophile and was using me as a kind of substitute. I was shocked and disgusted when I found out but it made some of the things she said when we had sex make more sense. I had no idea and probably should have talked about it with someone but I just felt like trying to forget it would work, and for the most part it has, but I'll still never tell anyone I know personally. What's your most shameful NSFW moment? In the 90s early 2000s we bought a pub and moved into it. It had a big screen downstairs and we lived above. But Sky Sports was so expensive for the business account we basically hooked the giant screen to our box upstairs so whenever the sport was on it would show on the screen downstairs. So we couldn't watch TV upstairs except what was being shown on the big screen when this was happening. Anyway one Sunday evening around 10pm after the sport bearing in mind the sport finished at 6pm I was freely browsing through channels because the giant screen has been wound up into the ceiling and, my 14 year old self came across some softcore porn. Curious, I started watching it. Suddenly there was a big buzz from the phone that connected to downstairs, I answer it. It's my mum with laughing in the background. What are you watching? I was like er. I was just flicking through channels. Well you've stayed on that one for a while haven't you? I forgot a boo at the small TV in the bar area. It was still on and was showing the entire pub what my horny 14 year old ass was watching. I was mortified. Luckily my mom never brought it up again and neither did any of the customers thankfully. What's a modern day scam that's become normalized and we don't realize it's a scam anymore? Not being able to cancel a subscription online. I can subscribe in 5 minutes but I need to call your service agents and am forced to be rude to them to cancel it because as long as my voice sounds friendly they try to resell the damn subscription. Service charge for buying cinema tickets online. I've got to pay you to buy something from you. Medical insurance not covering dental or vision. Like, it's all connected. Guys, if you have a badly abscessed tooth, you're likely going to need medical care. Even if you have dental that covers the extraction or root canal or whatever. Resort fees at hotels. What discontinued thing do you really want brought back? Paying once for work software, like Microsoft Word or Adobe PDF, 
and actually owning it thereafter without having to pay a monthly subscription fee, everything not being a subscription, I'd love to buy something and own it, not pay every damn month to use stuff in my own house, getting a poster that is a map of the game world with the purchase of a game, and almost add less internet, when you would win a free coke from the plastic bottle cap, those were the best. Or the McDonald's Monopoly game when you could win free fries or something, the real dollar menu at Mickey D's, products that were meant to last and not broken or obsolete in one to two years, old Cartoon Network who's a celebrity no one can hate, Rick Moranis. I mean, the guy literally gave up his acting career to be a full-time stay-at-home dad when his wife died. Mr. Rogers, I've never heard negative shit about Tony Hawk, Dolly Parton, Maggie Smith, Alan Rickman, he made in a whole like Snape somewhat likable. But honestly, never heard anyone say anything bad about him. But I am young, in relative terms, to his career. Who's a celebrity no one can hate, Betty White, Bob Ross, Christopher Lee. Fought in World War II, played Dracula, a wizard, a Sith Lord and many other roles, he also was in a metal band, I've only ever heard good things about Hugh Laurie, Julie Andrews, Keanu Reeves, just watched Uncle Buck the other day, John Candy was a great actor, Robin Williams, Danny DeVito, what's the most horrific act committed by someone you know personally, when I was a kid I was in the hospital for some surgery, in the next bed over was a kid who was younger than me in a full body cast, turns out his dad was drunk and ran over him with a car, but that's not the worst part, his dad, apparently a hopeless alcoholic, later committed suicide, but that's not the worst part, a few years ago, I decided to look for the kid on the internet and see how he was doing, turns out, he killed his wife with a chainsaw, and then killed himself with a chainsaw, but that's not the worst part, their 14 year old son found them, that would fuck you up for life, wife tied me up during SEX and searched my phone, man I'm, I honestly still can't really grasp what happened, we were doing a roleplay for sex and she decided to tie me up to a chair, I was obviously loving everything she was doing till she got up and walked away from me. I was also blindfolded I started asking where the heck she went and whether she was okay cause all I could hear was the sound of stuff being moved around. She told me she just remembered to take her medication and that she'd be back with me in a second. I didn't buy it cause she only takes her meds in the morning. I tried freeing my hands, it wasn't hard given how bad she is at making knots I freed my hands and quickly removed the blindfold and caught her with my phone in her hand. I asked what she was doing with my phone and she got quiet, I snatched the phone to take a look. Turns out she was snooping through it, she has been wanting to do it for a while after suspecting something off with my behavior and thought the only way she could take a look was by having me tied up and eyes blindfolded, we had the biggest fight because of it and she began crying saying I ruined the night and judged her for the gut feeling she had and couldn't control, I don't know man, I just don't feel like I could trust her after this, maybe I'll get over it but this is just fucked up, what's the worst excuse for cheating, I just have a flirty personality, I was looking for an excuse to break up, if you want to break up, why don't you just, break up, I thought you all were friends. An actual quote from an ex my immediate response, how the fuck does that make it any better? She had absolutely no reply, just sat there with her jaw dropped like she was waiting for another cock to come flying in the room. One that I heard from a former marriage counselor was a woman who claimed her husband was so affectionate, hardworking, and considerate. She developed an inferiority complex and dealt with it by cheating. I thought about you the whole time, the lights were off, I couldn't see, it was doggy style. I thought he was you, my wife gave me chlamydia, I am livid, the only person I have had sex with within the past 5 years has been my wife, I thought I had a bladder infection or UTI, and scoffed when my doctor thought it was chlamydia, well, here we are. I got the test results yesterday and I have chlamydia, decided to start snooping and it didn't take long to find the text messages between her and her boy toy, my guess is she doesn't even know she had it as well, she thinks I stayed up all night working, but little does she know I've already emailed her little lover boy's wife all the text messages, I warned the lover boy's wife that he's been sleeping with an infected woman and to get herself tested, I'm still deciding how to process this all but wifey's going to wake up to my positive test results and the messages of her infidelity, the sun should be coming up in the next hour or two, and probably will be the end of this marriage. What's your most shameful NSFW moment? My HS boyfriend and I were having sex in his attic bedroom, both of us completely naked, I was bouncing and moaning and making a lot of noise with the headboard because we were home alone. Well, his mom came home early and we had no idea until she was at the top of the stairs calling his name and walked in on me, totally naked and riding her son. She took a breath, calmly told us to get dressed and come downstairs. When we did, she told us she was disappointed and asked him to walk me home. He very quietly told her we had planned to go to church youth group afterwards. She let us leave after she picked her jaw up off the floor. That was the first time I'd met his mom. What clothes worn are sexier than being naked? Skirt, thigh highs and a bra. A long dress with a naked back and no bra under bonus point if there is a side split, a clone trooper phase 2 armor, mini skirt and thigh highs, any clothing that's provocative enough is sexier than being naked emo, sundress, buff man wearing flannel, a woman in her 40s wearing nothing but a men's dress shirt that's big enough to act as a dress is the sexiest thing these eyes have ever seen, add a coffee mug in her hand and I am putty, I thought so as a teen and it's never changed, 
Cops have read it what is the saddest thing a criminal has said, not a cop, but a year ago South Africa was hit by political unrest and riots, a lot of stores were looted, and people were walking off with multiple TVs, appliances etc., some citizen journalist was out on the streets, stopping looters, and interviewing them, it's winter, it's dark, and suddenly this little kid appears, holding a single bag, all alone. Couldn't have been more than eight, the citizen journalist stops him, and demands to see what's in the bag, he opens it up. One t-shirt. One jersey, one pair of pants, one pair of shoes, a three-pack of underwear. This little kid had followed a group of adults into a chaotic situation and taken what he needed, and only what he needed. I can't watch the clip without sobbing. The interviewer sent the kid off with his little bag of one single, looted outfit. The final shot is of this tiny little thing, walking into the darkness, barefoot and alone. It was absolutely heartbreaking. Today I fricked up by having sex on the couch. Happened about 20 minutes ago. My girlfriend and I were laying the couch after a long day just watching a movie. She asked me to rub her back so I lay next to her and start doing my thing which turned into some titty nibbling and carpet munching. Next thing we're screwing hard on the couch. She's off the edge and I'm on the ground just plowing away. She's moaning loud. She finishes and I'm still thrusting about to bust and I hear mommy. I look up and her 7 year old daughter is standing in the doorway and we make a contact. I'm mortified. I just let out an oh shit. I fall to the floor to ensure she doesn't see anything. She screams at us and starts saying I hate you I hate you and runs off crying. GF goes after her and calms her down. She calls me into the room and says, I told her you were giving mommy a massage, so I come up with a quick story on the spot how I was giving her a massage with my shirt off because I got sweaty from rubbing her back, every night I gave her a massage whether it be feet, hands, back etc so this is actually believable, daughter says she just didn't like seeing me without a shirt on so she's oblivious thankfully but needless to say we are never fucking on the couch again. What is the creepiest thing that you've come across on internet? Years ago I came across a website that was just a collection of links to unsecured camera feeds, webcams, baby monitors, security cameras. Basically anything with a lens and Wi-Fi capabilities. Apparently most people never set up their devices properly and just leave default passwords or none at all. And this website was just trawling through the internet finding them all. I watched Luca Magnata kill his BF but when I watched it, it was uploaded to a horror site by him and everyone thought it was a really good special effects. I don't get spooked much but I stopped watching when he started stabbing the corpse with a ice pick or something. A little while later I found out he was on the run and that video was a real person he murdered. It messed me up for a while. What isn't a cult but feels like a cult? Some dog owners groups on Facebook are very culty like. Got banned from one group for not crate training my pup. I like her sleeping in my bed as it helps with my anxiety. I live in Orlando and Disney people are crazy. My condo association. No I will not host the ritual at my place again this month. Dave, mommy groups. And even specific groups, like a cult within a cult, joined a cloth diapering group. I was excommunicated for using pampers at night. Breastfeeding? If you aren't nursing till 4, bye. As someone who owns an iPhone, AirPods, Apple Watch, AirTags, Power Beat Pros, and many Apple accessories, Apple. When it comes to dating apps, what is an automatic pass for you? Don't be boring. Talk too much about who they want and not enough about who they are, a profile that's just a list of demands, don't be this, don't do this, spend money on me, do this, do that, etc, those are annoying. This ain't build a bitch, buy me dinner, buy me shots, I can probably out drink you, will probably like your dog more than you, I'm actually 20, I'd quiet says 24 lol, or something to that effect. What's the best response to an unwanted dick pic, I read, I believe it was here on reddit. This girl got an unsolicited dick pic, so for her revenge, she sent back dick pics back constantly, big, small, black, white anything she could find. This guy was telling her to stop, lol. She asked if he liked it. What I used to do was take their profile picture and photoshop their face onto the head of their dick and send it back. I never got a second dick pic doing that lol. Why does it look like that? And answer none of their following texts. Make a screenshot and send it to him. When he sees it you say oops wrong person. Screenshot it. Circle a random part and say what the fuck is that? They'll start to freak out and get worried. It's worked a lot for me lol. How do you think you're going to die? Alone. Probably heart failure. It runs in the family. I'm probably gonna get old and fall down a large thing of stairs. I don't know how but I'm sure my last words will be are you fucking kidding me? I'll mysteriously disappear from a cruise ship. An investigation will reveal a million dollar life insurance policy was taken out on me. One day, I'll have my life together in a mind blowing manner. Own my house. Be married to someone I love. Have a thriving business. Be famous. Probably. Stellar mental and physical health, everything I could ever hope for. Then, I'll forget to look both ways and get hit by a car. What's your story about the one that got away that turned out being a gigantic bullet dodged? I've told this story before in another post. Anyway, I was engaged to this guy who was apparently engaged to this other girl too. I dumped him of course and they got married. He strangled her to death. What's your story about the one that got away that turned out being a gigantic bullet dodged? Dated a guy in high school for about 6 months. He broke up with me for another girl. They didn't last long and I ended up moving a state away. He would come visit. 
I decided I wasn't going to keep a LDR at 15 and I cut it off. A few years later I got a call that he had run away to another state with his then 16 years old GF, shot her and then shot himself when they got to their destination. Literally dodged that bullet. What is the darkest thing you have ever done and don't regret? I bit the dick of the guy who forced it in my mouth. Girls, what's the downside of being a female? The way hormones fuck with your body. First puberty. Then childbirth. And top it all off with menopause. Don't forget the monthly cycle. Big boobs that hurt my back. Tis a blessing and a curse. The complications that come with a vagina. BV again? UTI? Yeast infection from the UTI antibiotics? BV came back cause of the yeast infection that you got treating your UTI? Such a pain sometimes. Having to go to the gynecologist. I literally get lightheaded every time I think of it. A lot of women would find this as lucky but, I get my period for 1-2 to two days every month. IT. Hurts. So. Bad. I showed my sister one of my bloody pads and she said maybe you're having a miscarriage. Today I fricked up by swiping on my girlfriend's phone. So this happened a few days ago and I'm still not sure I'm 100% ready to tell the story but here goes. I've been with my girlfriend for about a year and I already know she is the love of my life. She's perfect for me. We're perfect for each other. We're getting ready to move in with each other and I want nothing more than to start a family with her and spend the rest of my life with her. We went on a short vacation last week and when we returned she gave me her phone to look at some photos from the trip. She went to the bathroom while I had her phone, and as I was scrolling through the pictures it kind of jumped to a period that was about a year and a half ago. If you have an iPhone you know what I'm talking about. You scroll a little bit too fast and all of a sudden you're back at the start of the photo album. It's annoying as hell, but some photos caught my eye. Some photos that I really shouldn't be seeing, of her and a previous boyfriend, there she is, the love of my life, trying to get her mouth around the biggest dick I've ever seen in my life, I've watched porn, a lot. I've never seen a dick like this, I'm talking bigger than two coke cans stacked on top of each other, longer and thicker. As far as I could tell she was unable to get her teeth around it, I could see another thumbnail of her comparing the size of his dick to her forearm with a look of wonder and glee on her face, I closed the pictures and I've acted like nothing has happened but I cannot get these images out of my mind, I've never been self-conscious about my dick size, in fact if you believe the stats I'm significantly above average, but this has destroyed my self-esteem, we haven't had sex since, I can't concentrate on my work, I just wish I had never seen those damn pictures, what is the one thing you did while horny that you immediately regretted afterwards, when I was like 12 to 13 I decided to wrap my dick in duct tape in a bout of adolescent horniness, I used like the whole roll and it made a big beehive type thing, after I played out my curiosity I had this big monstrosity with pubes stuck to it I had to get rid of. So I buried it in the bathroom garbage can. A few days later we were all eating dinner at the kitchen table and my mom asked what I did with the plastic wrap I was using earlier. My dad blurted out maybe he wrapped his dick in it. What's something from the early days of the internet which younger generations may not know about? The need to set a good away message on AIM. Since it may be up for over a day before you can get back on. Under construction banners, images, and GIFs. They were on every page. The page was always under construction. You'd put one there while you were writing the HTML then take it out when the final version was done, but way too many people never bothered with that step. I used to keep a magazine beside the computer so I could read something while waiting for a web page to load. That computer speakers could predict phone calls. People have read it what ended your friendship with your best friend? He was sentenced to prison for molesting two children. I went to visit him in prison because I did not believe it was possible it could be true. I learned it was true. He did not seem to understand what he did was wrong. Because it was true and because he did not understand it was wrong it is likely he will repeat the actions when released from prison. Cannot be friends or have any association. I have known this guy for over 35 years. Ex-girlfriend got pregnant by someone to get revenge on me, so I can't wrap my head around it. But me and my ex-girlfriend are finally 18 years old and she let a 21-year-old guy get her pregnant as revenge on me after I left her. We ended up back together for a while and she said she still loves me a lot and kept stalking me. Mind you she was 17 when she was conceived a child. Now she's started an OnlyFans being a single teen mom and is happily pregnant in attraction older men. It's in her bio that she loves older men. Keep in mind, she was narcissistic in the relationship and did petty things to me all the time. Today I fricked up by asking my fantasy to come true. Added to clarify about consent. When I was describing the fantasy, I also discussed how I wanted it to be a surprise, and how I sure I was about it working in everyone's favor. I've now realized that not all fantasies are fun IRL. I shared a fantasy with my so about having him masturbate while I'm asleep and then finishing on my face. I don't know why, but the thought stupidly appealed to me. I asked if he would really do this for me. My so swore it was not something he'd do and for a long time, didn't do it. A long time later, I was sleeping on my side, suddenly, a shadow is standing in front of me, but I dismiss it and fall back asleep. Then, I hear fumbling, feel something fall on my face and pillow, but keep trying to fall back asleep. The something on my face and pillow started dripping into my ear, and this creepy sensation made me open my eyes. Stuff dripped into my eyes, and I rubbed at it furiously, which only rubbed the foul stuff into my eyes more. At this point, I'm sitting up, eyes burning and with a nasty earful, asking what the hell is going on. 
My so is using his shirt trying to clean me up and saying, you asked me to do this, that's when, even though it was still pitch dark in the room, I realized he had duplicated my dumbass fantasy, only, in my fantasy, his semen hadn't clouded my ears, my vision, nor had it been smeared all over my hair, pillow, and blanket. What is the worst thing about being fat? The fact that you put your whole life on hold, telling yourself that you will resume living when you lose the weight, then not being consistent with said weight loss journey and basically, never getting to truly live, looking at your side profile and window reflections, my 7 year old kid looking at his stomach in the mirror and saying that he doesn't want to be like daddy, I used to be fat, the one thing I don't miss is feeling self conscious whenever I had a t-shirt on and doing the whole pull it away from your stomach thing, knowing that almost everyone wishes you weren't, every time I get a little pain in my chest I think fuck, this is it, if someone is dating you, you feel like it's either a prank or they lost a bet with their friends or something.